All right, Friday, September 16th in the sports world. More things upon us. College football, NFL is lurking. We're going to talk a little about what happened last night. Get into the games today and find our best bet of the day. That's what we do here. Ben Razza here for Odd Shopper, bringing you my favorite bet on the slate today on this Friday. Let's dive into what we've got and let's talk a little about what we saw last night. Thursday night football, Austin Eckler. We jumped on the line immediately. Over four and a half receptions. It was kind of middling, then it got there, then he got four extra passes on that final drive, nine catches in the game, easy, easy money, we're starting to string them together, and now we get a, a college football Friday slate, which I absolutely love. If you've just found us, if you missed out yesterday, or you're coming back for more, welcome to Odd Shopper, we break down all things betting. If you want to join the team, you want to subscribe, please do hit that notification bell as well, and hit, give us a like, it really does help, but we really want you as part of the community, check out what we have. I think you're going to stick around. One other thing, of course, you see it on the screen. BetMGM is offering the Bet10 Win 200 if either team scores a touchdown in the money line game that you bet. So if you love college football, get on in there. New user, it's in the description of this video, also in the pinned comment. Sign up and deposit. Pick a game that you like. Bet one of the teams. Pick a money line. And once one of those teams scores, they're giving you 200 bucks. It's a great way to build the bankroll. Strongly recommend doing that. Maybe you go to one of the games tonight. I am going to my boys. And normally when I would say that in a Wyoming game, it'd be Wyoming. But times have changed. Air Force Falcons. That is the magic team this year. I love this team. I'm going all over this team in the first two weeks. I'm not going to stop now. Let's get into this game. They are 16-point road favorites in a 47.5 point total. Margins are a little thin, but... We power on nonetheless. If this cross 17, I want to get that right out of the way. If this cross 17, I would not bet Air Force. This is basically towards the top. It's been bouncing around between 14 and a half and 16 and a half. Anything in there is Air Force. North of 17 is a pass for me. All right. Let's start actually with the home team, though. I'll get Wyoming out of the way. They've played three games already. They opened the season in week zero. They got demolished by Illinois. They lost 38 to six. They could not stop the run. Chase Brown ran all over them. They have no offense. They cannot play catch up. They cannot throw the ball. Then they beat Tulsa in overtime, and then they beat up on Northern Colorado, who's an FCS opponent. The problem with Wyoming, you know, Josh Allen's not walking through that door. They can't pass. The quarterback, 5.4 yards per attempt. He's got two touchdown passes in three games. Uh, it's just they're really not doing much on offense. They can try to run the ball. I've seen this before, though. It's a team that really struggles if they fall behind, and it's a team that really struggles to put up points in bunches, particularly against opponents that are better than them. One advantage, they are in Laramie. It's a tough place to play. They play at elevation, but Air Force plays at elevation. It's not that big of a deal for them to come in, and this team is serious business. If you have never seen Air Force play, do yourself a favor. Watch this game tonight. It is one of the coolest offenses that you will ever see. So they played two games. They're 2-0. and Both wins by 31 points. They won 48-17 to over FCS Northern Iowa. Then they played Colorado, who's a bad team, but still, uh, you know, a somewhat real opponent. 41-10 to in that game. They scored 41 points. They had eight yards. Eight yards passing. That's it. They ran for almost 500 yards on the ground, over seven yards per carry. They don't throw the ball. So they are a triple option. They have an absolutely fantastic QB. He's great when he does throw the ball. It's like a 90-yard touchdown every time, but he doesn't really need to do that. Uh, like I said, eight yards passing in the last game. They have a slew of offensive linemen back, just a fantastic bunch up front. They've got like 10 running backs. I don't know how Wyoming's going to try to slow this down. It's one of the most difficult attacks to stop. It's one of the hardest attacks to plan for. And when I look at what Air Force does, they're one of the lowest variance teams because they just do what they do. They run the same couple plays every single time. They hit you with the pass when you least expect it. And they put up points in bunches despite only running the ball. Like I said, they're averaging almost 500 yards on the ground uh, only through a couple games. But that's just comical. So I don't know exactly what Wyoming's going to do. If and when Wyoming falls behind, they're not going to be able to pass their way out of it. So having said that, we look at the line. Yes, 47 and a half for that total is very low, but that's because Wyoming can't do anything offensively and Air Force only runs the ball. I just think they grind it out. It's going to be, to me, very similar to the first two games. The only difference is that Air Force is now on the road, but they're an experienced team. 
and the way they play, I don't think it's going to matter that much. I'm going to lay the 16 points. I think this is a team in Air Force that's going to be a legitimate contender in their conference and honestly live to possibly go undefeated on the season. Wyoming's going to be in the basement. They've got a lot of problems. I will lay the 16 points and say that Air Force rolls over, runs through them like they do everybody else. If you're enjoying this content, you want more college football, stick around on this very channel. Check out all the other videos we have. And of course, I know you'll be back for NFL Sunday week two. A lot of games, then a lot of breakdowns, and hopefully a lot of green screens and cash and some tickets. But for me, for everyone here at Odd Chopper, thanks again for hopping in. Appreciate all the support. Let's go Air Force. Let's get it done tonight. 16-point cover. That would be lovely. Win by three touchdowns, and, and let's have a sweat-free W. I'll be back tomorrow. More college football on the docket. Until then, friends, good luck, and I'll talk to you guys soon.